Okay, so let's take a look at question number three. So again, we have a word problem here, which is like a number problem in this case. And it says one third of the square of a number is subtracted from half of the square of the same number. So what is the number if the difference is 96? Okay, so the way you do a word problem is you gotta introduce a variable first. So we can just say let x equal the unknown number. Okay, cause we don't know what that is. So we are gonna just represent this with a variable the unknown number or the unknown value. Then it says one third of a square of the number is subtracted from half the square of the same number. So the way we interpret that mathematically is we take half of the square of a number and then we subtract from the one half square a third of the square of the number and that difference is equal to 96. Okay, so this is what the equation looks like when we translate that um, sentence into math. Now what we have to do here is we need to clear the fractions here. So in, a, in an equation like this we have to multiply by the greatest common factor for those for those fractions. So the 96 is just over 1 so the 1 is by itself. So the greatest common factor for 2 and a 3 it means we're multiplying everything through by the number 6. Okay so it's going to be 6 times a half um, then we're going to have 6 times a third and we're going to subtract that and then we're going to end up going 6 times 96. Okay, So 6 times a half is just going to give us um, 6 over 2 which is 3x squared minus and then 6 over 3 is just going to give us a 2x squared and then 96 times 6 is going to be the product of those two and it's a larger number so it's going to give us 576. Okay, so then in this question, this one just happens to work out nice and neat because 3 minus 2 is 1, so that's just x squared is equal to 576. And then what we can do from here is take the square root of both sides. Okay, and remember when we're taking the square root of the actual value, we're going to have a plus or minus number. Okay, and it just so happens that 576 is a perfect square and the answer is 24. So it's going to be plus or minus 24. So what is the number? There are actually two cases. X can be equal to 24, okay, or X could be equal to negative 24, okay, because in this case <clears throat> we're not taking a measurement of anything, so the negative number is a possibility, okay, because when we square it and then do our operations there we'll still have a, a difference of 96. So there are two solutions to this, plus or minus 24.